below, four below. Those kinds of temperatures are not yeah. meant to be at Thanksgiving time. No, International Falls go down to 23 below, record low. If you take the two and multiply them together, two minuses, and you come out with a plus? Yes, you're supposed to, <laughs> mathematically. Well, okay, we're trying that, but it's not working so far. It's cold outside right now. Cloudy conditions, three degrees below zero. We were down to four below zero an hour ago, and that was two degrees shy of the record of 1897, when it was six below. Winds right now north at eight, creating a wind chill of about 20 below zero. It is cold out there. Humidity 40%, pressure 30.28. National Digital Radar really shows the picture of what's going on across the country. Lots of rains from Texas all the way up into Pennsylvania and New York. In fact, I was talking to some meteorologists back in Pennsylvania and New York earlier this morning where they're expecting uh, serious flooding, two to three inches of rain. Some uh, roads last evening were closed due to flooding and uh, mudslides. And it looks like most of that is going to occur over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, here in the west, we have got cold, frigid Arctic air. Take a look at the morning satellite photograph and You'll see that uh, plenty of clear skies prevail across Minnesota. However, out to our west, we see some clouds starting to move in, and that is coming in with the Arctic air. And it looks like some of it's going to trigger some light snow for us tonight into early tomorrow morning. But other than that, the weekend should be clear sailing except cold. The forecast for today calls for the cold weather to continue, along with increasing clouds and flurries developing later this afternoon, 6 to 10. Hmm, that could be optimistic. Tonight, some light snow. Probably one to three inches of fluffy snow, three below to zero. Winds will be light tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day. Looks like the light snow will end quite cold, five to nine, and the 11 outlook for the rest of the holiday weekend. Maybe some more light snow Friday. Look at the temperatures, though, folks. This is crazy. Sunday, maybe some more snow, 12 degrees. That's the best I could come up with on 12 degrees on Sunday. I could <laughs> add them all together, and we still don't get up to normal. Multiplying minuses together, whatever you <laughs> try, work. it's still going to be cold. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Barry. Well, we may all be freezing while our turkeys are thawing in preparation for one of the year's biggest feasts. The U.S. Agriculture Department has issued some safety tips for you to keep in mind while you're preparing your bird. First, never thaw your turkey on a countertop overnight at room temperature. The best way is in the refrigerator for three or four days or leave it outside. <laughs> Second, add the stuffing right before you put the turkey in the oven. And finally, never leave cooked turkey at room temperature for more than two hours. Refrigerate leftovers promptly. And if you've got any questions about all this, you can use a free meat and poultry hotline the USDA has set up called 800-535-4555 only though between 9 and 3 o'clock. I like that, the turkey hotline. <laughs> Coming up next, Tom Ryder returns. Yes, he will recap the whole story when sunrise continues. We'll be right back. In the city, I'm thankful for a lot of things. The World Trade Center is booming along beautifully. Uh, Gaultier Plaza is opening and looks uh, spectacular. We're going to have housing for the poor this winter. A uh, little bit better, I think, than we've had in the past. And I think the foundations are going to be helping the homeless. Uh, so there are things to be uh, very uh, thankful for, and I'm, I'm there feeling that way. This year, cook up a great Christmas with a microwave from Menards. Microwave ovens for every family are on sale now, starting at just $95. Our deluxe 700-watt microwave oven is fully programmable with defrost, delay timer, auto cook, and variable power. It has a removable glass tray and temperature probe. On sale now for just $198. For big savings and a great gift idea, shop the holiday home sale at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Just when you need it most. At all five Walzer locations. Drive any new car or truck with just $86 down. Over 2,000 Buicks. Chevys. Chrysler's. Plymouth. Fords. Mazdas. Even used cars drastically reduced. All just $86 down. And get this. Make no payments till March. Drive a new car for three months before your first payment. No payments till March. $86 down at Walzer, Buick, and Mazda. Four ninety-four dollars in Penn. Walzer Chevrolet. County Road 18 in Bass Lake Road. Walzer Chrysler Plymouth. County Road 18 at Excelsior Boulevard. Walzer Ford. Highway 100 and West 36. Walzer's taking care of Minnesota. Did you know that over eight hours of hand labor go into the average Foreman and Clark suit? Take a look at this coat. See the slightly uneven stitches? They're hand sewn to make the coat more comfortable and resilient. And that's not all. This coat is part of a vested suit that sells for a lot less than you might expect. So look closely when you shop for your next suit, sport coat, or overcoat. And look for this label. It's your best guarantee of quality and low price in men's clothing.
This may soon become a collector's item. He may be yeah. the, uh, wearing the Irish green. Tom doesn't know we use this every, every week. Oh, yeah, you've yes. seen Lou. Well, yeah, you'll be getting it now with uh, the green and gold yeah, colors. You know. <laughs> You're talking about the turkey tips a little while ago? Are you yes, supposed Tom. to thaw those things? Absolutely. <laughs> you've made my Thanksgiving. It's going to taste a lot better this year. Unbelievable. <laughs> to recap the Lou Holtz situation, according to the University of Minnesota Athletic Director, Paul Gia, Lou Holtz has been offered the head coaching job at Notre Dame. It was all leading to that, and within the last 48 hours, that did happen. The Irish need a quick cure to five years of no glory under Jerry Faust. We have learned that the Holtz family will discuss the offer as a family and a counteroffer by the University of Minnesota. Notre Dame wants a decision soon. So do the Gophers, because active recruiting can begin on Monday. In other sports news, the Minnesota Strikers won another game at home last night. They defeated Dallas at the Met 7-5 to to remain undefeated at home in the last 15 games. There you see the score highlights in that game. In the second quarter, the Strikers grabbed a 3-2 lead when Dwight Lota Vegas popped it in as we see the action out there as he drills it in. Looked like a John Bachman drive there. Later, Drago Dumbovic made it 4-2. He got a second chance on the rebound. The Strikers win it. They will play at Tacoma tonight. Well, believe it or not, the North Stars are working on a streak of sorts. They have won two straight games, and will try to make it three straight tonight when they host the New York Islanders at the Mets Sports Center. Last night in hockey, a handful of games. St. Louis over Toronto, New Jersey, a one-goal win over Winnipeg. And in the other two games, Calgary defeated Quebec, and it was Chicago over Vancouver. And again on Lou Holtz, the Holtz family once again will gather as a family really strange over Thanksgiving and they're a very prayerful family so I'm sure that they will uh, do a lot of that and try to come up with his uh, decision. Good for them. Okay. One quick question for mm -hmm. you. Is Ricky Foggy gone? Well they have to sit out a year but then they can continue on with their eligibility after that. I think they would lose some players to Notre Dame. Yeah, Foggy wouldn't be the only one maybe. Well there would be several. I'd say okay. probably a half a dozen. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Just ahead on Sunrise, Texaco fights back. And Shot gets ready to reorganize. Kara King will have those stories in our business outlook. She's up next. We'll be right back. When I was a child, little golden books brought me hours of fun and enjoyment. Today, my children can experience the same charming stories and lovable characters in golden book videos. Now your child can step into Storyland anytime with their favorite friends from Sesame Street. You see, Big Bird, I told you it was better to tell Mrs. Washington the truth. It is I, the Grover, and I am cute. And a host of other storybook characters. Uh, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Each 30-minute Golden Book video brings to life three enchanting tales to watch and learn from again and again, alone or with family and friends. And it's available for under $15. That's far less than what you'd expect to pay for such a high-quality children's video cassette. So make the wholesome world of Golden Books a part of your child's life and learning in an exciting new way with Golden Book Videos. Available this holiday wherever books, toys, and videos are sold. Here's Mary Lou Retton for the Neighborhood Bowling Centers. Every now and then, I compete in front of the whole world. Other times, I'm just out to have a good time with my family and friends. Come on, you're up. That's why I got into bowling. Yeah, bowling. It's fun. It's pretty good exercise. It's great. Best of all, you don't have to get a 10 to have a great time. All right. On the other hand, it doesn't hurt. Right now is a good time to bowl at a neighborhood bowling center. Minus three degrees for you now at nine minutes before seven. Topping datelines this morning, on board the Space Shuttle Atlantis, five astronauts are beginning a week of exercises to practice building large structures in space. The Atlantis put on a fiery light show last night when it blasted off from Cape Canaveral. Reports this morning are that one satellite has already been launched. In Lafayette, Indiana, a hemophiliac boy who has AIDS because of a transfusion will be going back to school. 14-year-old Ryan White has been taught through a telephone hookup since last August because the school barred him from classes. Now a judge has overruled that decision. Texaco will appeal the decision in a $10 million lawsuit at lost to Pennzoil. Kara King has details in this morning's business outlook. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, John and Marty. And that's right. A hearing has been set for December 5th to see if the jury's decision in this case will be upheld. The jury awarded Pennzoil $7.5 billion in damages for Texaco's interference with Pennzoil's purchase of Getty Oil. And another $3 billion in punitive da damages were tacked onto the verdict. Texaco has ruled out the possibility of filing bankruptcy at this time. In our business outlook this morning, financially troubled Shock Electronics reaches an agreement to pay off its creditors. Shock can now move ahead with its plans to reorganize after reaching an agreement in bankruptcy court that will allow it to borrow more money to pay day-to-day -day operating expenses. 
If you haven't finished shopping for your Thanksgiving holiday dinner, take heart. Reporter Jeanette Harrison says putting on a feast this year should cost no more than it did last year. Supermarkets say they've been busier than usual for about a week now as shoppers prepare for that all-American tradition, the Thanksgiving dinner. A dinner that will cost you just about the same amount it did last year. The big exception, that succulent bird, the turkey. Turkey prices are up about 20 cents a pound, but sales are still brisk. Very well. In fact, I think this year the people are buying the turkeys earlier as last year we ran out of some sizes. As for the rest of the trimmings, from the sweet potatoes to the pumpkin pie, this is the way our cost added up for a dinner for six. To serve a 16-pound turkey, sweet potatoes, broccoli, cranberries, salad and stuffing, dinner rolls, creamed onions, olives, pickles, two kinds of pie, and mince and nuts, expect to pay about $37.24. Add two bottles of wine for a Thanksgiving toast, and your total cost, $49.22. Remember, you can cut costs a bit by shopping supermarket sales. And to relieve the pressure, think of this week's shopping as a dry run. After all, you get to do this all over again at Christmas. For Sunrise, Jeanette Harrison, News 11. This will be the first Thanksgiving uh, Day meal that I have to fix myself, but I have it all figured out. What you do oh. is cook enough at Thanksgiving that you have leftovers for Christmas. Well, for Christmas, sure. <laughs> Isn't that what microwave ovens were invented for? <laughs> In which case, we're coming yes. to your house. Well, yeah. <laughs> not at Christmas time, we're not. <laughs> Still to come on Sunrise, our day books are full of the spirit of giving. Susan Weesey will have all the details. She's up next. We'll be right back. Whatever you're looking for, Larry Reed's Bloomington Chrysler Plymouth has got. Lucky 7, we've got it. 86 Voyager SE Van, 86 down, 239 a month. The total you pay, 11472 The magic wagon with big comfort for seven passengers. The lease payment you can afford, 86 down, 239 a month. The total you pay, 11472 Whatever you're looking for, Larry Reed's Bloomington Chrysler Plymouth has got. Magic wagon, miracle price. Around the world, one name in electronics commands respect, Sony. Around here, the sound centers are the one place to buy Sony, selection and value. Here's one Sony Betamax, $199, and we have all these other Betamaxes. Here's one Trinitron, 19-inch with remote, $399, and we have all these other Trinitrons. Over 500 Sony products at one price, the lowest only at the sound centers. Are you tired of wrestling with high prices? Then see the low price champs at Chicago Lake Liquor Store. I'm Ken Resnick for Minnesota's lowest price store, Chicago Lake Liquor Store. With Thanksgiving coming up, you'll find a big selection of imported and domestic wines. And if you're having a party, there's case discounts up to 15% over and above Chicago Lake Liquor's everyday low prices. And you can shop till 10 p.m. Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Chicago Lake Liquor Store on Lake Street, across from Sears in Minneapolis. Well, from our headlines this sunrise, a big decision for Gopher coach Lou Holtz. He has been offered the coaching job at Notre Dame. Players and fans are in a state of shock over the news this morning. Some team members are threatening to quit if Holtz leaves. The University of Minnesota has made a counter offer. Holtz is expected to decide over the Thanksgiving holiday. And Minneapolis Police Chief Tony Boza won't be in the office for the next three days. He's been suspended without pay after making comments about city council members Dennis Schulstead and Walt Dietzik. From the daybook this sunrise, the spirit of giving. Susan Weesey tells us all about that from the newsroom. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, John and Marty. Volunteers from the Disciples Ministry Church in North Minneapolis are putting together bags of treats for those in need this holiday. The free food will be given away to all who need it at the church. The address, 1000 North Oliver. That starts today at noon. And acclaimed French pianist Jean-Philippe Collard will make his Minnesota Orchestra debut for a series of Thanksgiving concerts. The first one is tonight at 8 o'clock at Orchestra Hall. Ticket prices range from 5 to $21. Now let's find out from Tom what's on tap in sports besides the Lou Holtz story. Tom? Okay, once again, to quickly recap, as you know, Lou Holtz has a, a decision to make. He's been offered the job at Notre Dame. Steve Carroll is in South Bend, Indiana, and he will be covering that story. Many elements to piece together here. We'll be doing that all day long for you and have it later today. Okay, looks like the weather is going to be uh, cold, unseasonably cold, increasing clouds today. Some light snow overnight tonight, probably no more than one to three inches. John and Marty, the dead of winter for Thanksgiving. Already. We have some best weather.